Well, this week, agricultural groups are applauding the Bipartisan Death Tax Repeal Act of 2021, which was introduced by U.S. Senator John Thune of South Dakota, along with U.S. Representatives Sanford Bishop of Georgia and Jason Smith of Missouri. Ethan Lane is the National Cattlemen's Beef Association's Vice President of Government Affairs and told me that the estate tax disproportionately harms producers because with few options to pay off tax liabilities, many farm and ranch families are forced to make tough choices at the time of death and in worst case scenarios, must sell off land to help meet their federal tax burden. It's really not well understood on Capitol Hill and certainly not well understood amongst Democrats that are really pushing a lot of these tax provisions at the moment, just what an outsized impact something like the death tax has on agricultural producers in particular. Because of the way their operations are set up, you know, these aren't big corporations. These are family operations and their assets in an estate are typically really uh, predominantly tied up in land and, and in things like that that are not liquid. So it disproportionately affects our producers around the country uh, when they have to transfer between generations. And that can lead to exactly what uh, these same folks are always saying they want to avoid, which is the breakup of these large landscapes, development of open space into, into more housing developments and things like that. That's exactly what you get when the next generation can't afford to hold on to the ranch. And NCBA says with more than 40% of farmland expected to transition in the next couple of decades or so, Congress must prioritize policies that support land transfers to the next generation of farmers and ranchers.